So you started on testosterone replacement therapy or you're thinking about starting on testosterone replacement therapy and do you wanna know what are the side effects, what to expect with that? So in this video, we are going to talk about what are some of the side effects that you may experience when you first start on testosterone replacement therapy. We're gonna talk about the transient nature of those side effects and we're gonna debunk some things such as hair loss on testosterone replacement therapy. So let's get right into it. Side effects when starting off on testosterone replacement therapy are typically transient, meaning they happen in the beginning when there is an adjustment period. Once you're dialed in, meaning your dose is good, your injection frequency is good, you mostly have symptom resolution, your labs are stable, it's smooth sailing from there. But yes, in the beginning, there may be an adjustment period. Think about a guy going through puberty. As testosterone increases and your body gets used to the new level of testosterone, there are some adjustments. There may be some adjustments with sleep, there may be some adjustments with mood, there may be some adjustments in energy level. Those things are okay. It means your body is adjusting. Oftentimes guys will experience this adjustment period that typically happens in the first three months and they'll automatically assume that something is wrong, that testosterone isn't working. No, you are just in an adjustment period. Again, you are introducing testosterone into your body at a level that it has not had for a long time. Men that get on testosterone replacement therapy have been low on testosterone in a testosterone deficiency for a long time. So yes, increasing testosterone, you will experience some adjustments. So now let's get into some of the side effects that you may experience and some side effects that may absolutely not apply to you. Let's start at the top of the head literally. I know you've heard that if you get on testosterone replacement therapy, you're going to go bald and you're going to lose all of your hair. That is absolutely incorrect. Yes, testosterone can stimulate hair loss in men that are genetically predisposed to male pattern balding. If you're a guy and you don't have any male pattern balding, you don't have the gene, then it doesn't matter how much testosterone you put on board, you're still going to have a full head of hair. And to the guys that do have male pattern balding, I wanna let you know that you're gonna lose the hair to the degree that you're gonna lose it, whether you start on testosterone replacement therapy or not. Some guys may experience a slight increase in their blood pressure, about 10%, when they get on testosterone replacement therapy. This does not happen to all men. Many men get on testosterone replacement therapy, their blood pressure does not change. And other guys that start off on blood pressure medication, when they optimize their testosterone, they end up not needing their blood pressure medication or needing a lower dose. So which way you're gonna go with the blood pressure is not something that we can predict and it's just something that you're gonna have to cross when you get there. If you do get on testosterone replacement therapy and your blood pressure increases slightly, well, that's something that you're gonna talk to your provider about. There's things you can add. There's lifestyle modifications that you can adjust to keep your blood pressure within a good range. Right, let's talk about the prostate. To get this out of the way right now, testosterone does not cause prostate cancer. I don't care what you've heard, where you've read it. There is no up-to-date research that indicates that testosterone is a direct link to prostate cancer. Matter of fact, low testosterone suppresses prostate markers and men that have low testosterone can sometimes get diagnosed with prostate issues later because the low testosterone is suppressing their prostate markers on labs. So testosterone is not going to cause prostate cancer. However, when you start on testosterone replacement therapy, as your testosterone optimizes, you may see a slight increase in your prostate markers as well. It doesn't mean that there's any sort of pathology going on or disease process. Your prostate markers in that case are just going to where they would be with the optimal testosterone. However, if you start on testosterone replacement therapy, you get your follow-up labs done and your PSA, your prostate specific antigen, which is the prostate marker, goes through the roof, goes over a certain range, 
then in that case, you would suspect that something was already going on with the prostate and adding testosterone has made it very evident. Moving on, I know you've heard that, oh, if you start on testosterone replacement therapy, your balls are gonna shrink to a raisin or a peanut. That is not going to happen. Yes, as you initiate testosterone replacement therapy, some men may experience a reduction in testicular volume. The reason why this happens is because testosterone is made in your testicles, specifically the latex cells. When you introduce TRT, testosterone replacement therapy, into your body, the body recognizes, hey, I've got plenty of testosterone going around, and so it doesn't work as hard to produce naturally. And this is the reason why some men experience a reduction in testicular volume. Most guys don't care about it, some guys do for aesthetic reasons. And if you do care about it, then there are things you can add on top of your protocol to maintain and restore testicular volume. Since we're at the testicles and testosterone production, let's get right into fertility. So yes, testosterone replacement therapy can reduce fertility. It is not going to make you sterile. It is not a male contraceptive. So if you get on testosterone replacement therapy and you do not want to conceive, you need to use protection. Testosterone replacement therapy does not make you sterile, but it can lower your fertility. If you're a guy that gets on testosterone replacement therapy and you are concerned about fertility, you do want to do family planning in the future, then again, that's something that you discuss with your provider. There are things you can add to your protocol to maintain fertility while you are on TRT. And lastly, let's talk about the biggest one you probably hear about, which is the increase in red blood cell production or increase in hemoglobin and hematocrit. So yes, testosterone does stimulate red blood cell production. This is not necessarily a bad thing. Red blood cells carry oxygen. So when you have more oxygen carrying capacity, that's where some of the mental clarity comes from. That's where you get better results at the gym. That's where you experience better recovery after the gym. So an increase in your red blood cells is almost expected when you initiate testosterone replacement therapy. Now, if you get on testosterone replacement therapy and your red blood cells, your hematocrit begin to rise, they are not going to rise indefinitely. What's gonna happen is they'll rise and then they'll stabilize. Now, if you start on testosterone replacement therapy and your red blood cells or your hematocrit increase to a certain level, this may indicate to your provider that something is going on, whether you're not hydrating enough, whether you have sleep apnea, whether you smoke, more investigation needs to be done before someone automatically says your red blood cells hematocrit are slightly elevated and now you need to go donate blood or do therapeutic phlebotomy. More investigation needs to be done, a protocol adjustment needs to happen, and again, an increase in red blood cells and hematocrit doesn't necessarily mean that you need to run out and do therapeutic phlebotomy, doesn't necessarily mean anything is wrong. More investigation needs to get done, and if they are rising, again, you do a protocol adjustment, you may or may not need to do therapeutic phlebotomy. This is something that you will discuss with your testosterone replacement therapy provider. So as you can see, there is an adjustment period when you start on testosterone replacement therapy. These things are normal and expected, and most guys don't experience all of these side effects. And if they do come up, they are manageable and they should be transient.